Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nisar Kadam. I know that I am creating a video after a long time, but it has been really busy schedule. Uh, thanks to this free time, I got opportunity to create a new video. You might have already seen the thumbnail and the title of the video. So today's video, we are going to talk about UiPath's object detection AI center model. Now in this model, we have already created a video where we have seen and we have created a video for person counter using this particular AI center model. So if you have already gone through uh, this video, if you have not seen this video, then you do visit object detection UiPath AI fabric series on the playlist and you will get to know all this, uh, the information about object detection playlist. Okay, so do go through this particular uh, playlist and you'll get to know more information about it. Now, before yeah. wasting huge amount of time, we will get started quickly with our today's topic. So in UiPath AI Center, you can see as I have already created an object detection uh, model and I have already deployed ML skill for this object detection AI Center model. Now, how to create a uh, object detection model? So first of all, all you have to do is you have to create a new project. Now in the ML packages from the out of the box packages, in AI Center, you have to click on image analysis. And within image analysis, you have this model, which is called as object detection. Now in this object detection model, as you can see, the ML package is pre-trained on the Coco data set. So you can directly create ML skill, which can be used for identifying 80 classes of Coco data set. However, if you still want to retrain this particular model, which talks about object detection, because it is a retrainable model, right? So even if you want to retrain this particular model, then how can we retrain this object detection model of UiPath's AI center? That is the most asked question that I have recently received. <clears throat> and that's why I am creating this video. So let's see how we can retrain the image analysis object detection model. First of all, we will navigate to UiPath's documentation, which is docs.uipath.com AI fabric about object detection. Okay. On this model, as you can see, this is a generic retrainable deep learning model, blah, blah, blah. I am not going to read through the entire uh, thing. But remember, this model is pre-trained on the COCO data set. Now, what is COCO data set? Let's have a quick look at what is COCO data set. So this data or this model is pre-trained on this COCO data set. This COCO data set is actually having object segmentation, recognition in context, super pixel stock segmentation, and 330K images, where more than 200K images are labeled. 1.5 million object instances and 80 object categories, 91 stuff categories, five caption per images, and 250, 2 lakh people with key points. So this is how large this data set is. And this model, this particular object detection model is pre-trained on this Kuku data set. But still, if you want to go out of this particular model, and if you still want to retrain this particular object detection model, in that case, what we are going to do and how we are going to retrain this model, that, what, that is what we are going to learn in today's video, okay? So as you can scroll down, we can see here XML annotations, five. So for each uploaded image, there should be a corresponding annotation XML file, which contains the bounding box details of the image. Below is how XML file will look. So with every image, there has to be an XML file attached with the image. And that data set you have to upload in order to train this particular model. Now for that, what you have, what you need is for annotating the images, you can use open source annotating tool like label image, label IMG, okay, which is label image. You simply have to click on this link and it will redirect you to this link, which is uh, you know published on Git by some channel. I don't know what's his name exactly is, how to pronounce it. So I'm just going to skip that. So it's label IMG. All you have to do is you have to download this particular zip. So download the zip file from this particular label IMG. Now, before you actually download this tool and start utilizing this tool, you have to actually go through and read how this, how to use this tool. So this tool needs Python to be installed in your machine because this is, it works on Python. Okay. And as you can see here, it is specifically used for annotations uh, to annotate images which supports YOLO and CreateML formats. Now YOLO is nothing but you look only once, okay? So this is the same model which we are using in our object detection. And that's why we need to use the specific model. So what we are going to do is we are going to check how to use this particular application. So for before we use this application, what they are suggesting is that on Linux, Ubuntu, Mac, wherever you 
uh, install it, you need Python 2.6. However, Python 3.3 uh, or above and PTQ, uh, Python QT5 are strongly recommended, okay? So these things are needed, strongly recommended. So what you have to do is you have to install Python. So I already have Python 3.6 installed in my machine. So I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, so you can install Python 3.6 on your machine. And once you install that, then you simply go ahead and use it. So we don't have to read through all this. You just simply just go ahead and download this zip file. Now, once you download this zip file, all you have to do is install Python on your machine. Now, once you install Python on your machine, let's go ahead and have a look at how this exactly works, okay? So what I'm going to do is, this is the install and extracted package once I install it on my machine. I mean, once I download it on my machine, I have not installed anything, I have just downloaded this, okay? And I have installed Python, that's it. Now, once I've installed Python, I have downloaded this. These are the images which I would like to annotate it. Okay, so there are a couple of images of bikes, where bike and car is mixed, you know? So there is a motorbike, there's car, which is mixed uh, images. And that's what I want to label and I want to train my particular model, okay? So what I have to do is I have to download this label IMG. Once I download it, I stored it on some any random drive, okay? I just stored it on this drive, okay? And once you stored it on this drive, all you have to do is, all you have to do is just click on the top option, go to come on from right from this folder. So right now I'm directly on CMD inside this folder, okay? And then I have to type Python as it's built on top of QT5, Python PYQT5. So it will need Python to run it, right? So Python label ing uh, .py. And as soon as I hit enter, this is the application which opens, which is built on top of Python, okay? Now this application is used to annotate your images, which you can in, uh, give as input for your AI center object detection machine learning model, okay? Now for that, what you have to do is click on open, okay? Now you can navigate images. In the images, you can see the first image. So I'll just simply click on the first image. It will open the image right here. Now, all I have to do is, all I have to do is, I have to simply click on verify image, oh, sorry. Simply click on the create rectangle box. Then what I will do is I will make sure that this entire bike is included within this box. So I'll just drag it around it. And then I will call it motorbike. Okay, because this is a motorbike. So I'll just simply click on okay. And this is annotated, done. All I have to do is I have to click on save and in, within the same folder, okay? So I'll just simply click on save and it's saved on the same folder. Now we'll open the next image. The next image is vehicle two. Now this image is also containing bike. So I'll simply click on create a rectangle box. I'll make sure that I'll create a rectangle box around this bike, which will include entire bike. I'll simply give motorbike again, save and save, right? Now open the third image, which is this one. Again, this is a motorbike. So I'll simply make sure to include this entire diagram, I mean, entire bike. Give it name as motorbike and save this one as an XML and then again open the next one. And in the next image, I have two objects here. Now, rather than calling it as object, so it is object only, but uh, let's, we have two vehicles here. The first vehicle is nothing but a car. So let's select this car and we have selected the car and rather than calling it a motorbike, we'll simply call it car, okay? Car, okay. And then we'll create one more rectangle box to indicate this beautiful bike, which is a motorbike. So we'll call it motorbike. Motorbike. Okay, so we have our annotations right here. Click OK. And then click on save and just simply say save. That's it. Now, simply what I will do is I will annotate all these images. Okay. I will annotate all these images like this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. This one okay. So this is, oh, sorry, I marked as motorbike. So I can delete this, right? So, and yeah. I deleted the annotation. You can delete the annotation also. So create rectangle box. I created the rectangle box right here, which is a car. So I'll call it a car and I'll save it. And once again, I'll create a rectangle box around right here and I'll call it a motorbike. I'll call it a motorbike. Okay. And just like that, I will do all the annotations and I have already done this, believe me. Okay, so I have already done this annotations. Okay, I'll just simply want to save this one. Now I close the application, which is used for annotating. I'll show you how it actually works. So on in the meantime, on the command prompt, as you can see, 
it was actually also printing the messages, all the images that we have annotated. So you can see annotation, this image annotation, annotation, and it's saved in .xml file, just like what we wanted in the uh, in the requirement of object detection AI center model, where it says we need uh, image plus XML file. So this is how it is, right? Now let's go back to the folder where we have saved all this data. Now, as you can see, vehicle one along with that, there is XML file, just as we wanted in the object detection documentation. Now let's open this XML file in Sublime Text and let's check how it is. So there's nothing but the image, the name of the image, the path and source and the height and width and the object uh, name, you know, you see object name followed by the box or the, you can say, you know, the X and Y coordinates of this particular uh, image within the image, right? So that's how it annotates. And once you annotate all these images, then make sure that you uh, separate this data as 80%, 20%. So 80% is your training data and 20% is your testing data. But before you create this all labeled images and update it and upload it on object detection, you have to make sure, uh, I mean, you have to take care of certain things. Now, what are these certain things? So make sure that, see, it is preferable to have single class in XML file, right? It is preferable to have single class in XML file, giving meaningful name to the class, avoiding any alternation, alteration in the XML file. So this is how your database folder should look like. So they, that, that's what they have shown you right here, okay? And also uh, there are certain parameters and formats which you should follow. So image file, before you upload it to DSL, image file having all images of the same format. So make sure all images are either uh, JPG, so all images have to be JPG. If images are PNG, then all images have to be PNG, right? So make sure that, and uh, look at this, by default, this model will read images of format JPG and JPEG. So make sure that you have only JPG and JPG formatting documents, right? Also images. Now having all these images of the same size, preferred 800 by 600. So you have to make sure whatever images that you have, you have to make sure that size of all the images is almost similar while you train it. Okay, it's not about uh, when you uh, test it going further, it's not, it's not limited to that. But for creating test data, you have to make sure that all of your images are having the same size or are of the similar size, right? Now having at least 100 plus count images for each category of objects. So make sure that you have at least 100 plus images for each category. Now, for example, I showed you that I given I have given a category of motorbike and car. So motorbike category, I should at least have 100 plus images where there is motorbike category label or annotated within the image. I should have at least 100 plus images where there is car annotated in these images or labeled in these images. So the data set have to be at least minimum 100 plus images. And I'm talking about only the training data. Testing data, you have to completely create a different testing data altogether. Now, once you create all this test data and train data, then you have to upload it on the AI center documents part and then train this particular model. And as I have already created object detection, so what I will do, I will simply go ahead and I will open the workflow. So let me open the workflow. So this is my workflow, okay? Now in my workflow, what I have done is I will make sure that I will get the list of all the images and then one by one, I will verify each image and I will store it in the output folder. Now let me go to the project folder location. So let me open the project folder location. In the project folder location, you can see in the input file, I have how many images? I have eight images, right? And what I'm going to do is in the output folder, you can see output folder is empty right now. So what we are going to do is we are going to use the same model and the workflow and we are going to run it. And once we run it, we are going to make sure that it stores all the data within the output folder. So let's say run and let's look at how it actually works. So I'll go to the images and the output, the workflow is running right now, okay? So bot is actually using AI center, uh, you know, model which I have already deployed in ML skill. Okay, so it stopped somewhere, input data is missing. Oh my God, so input data is missing somehow and because here it is image. So yeah, I could do like this. Okay, there are just a small missing element within the workflow, not a problem, it happens sometimes. So I'll just go ahead and I'll simply say run again. Okay, now while it is running, in the meantime, we will observe the output folder because it's going to store all the images well while it labels the images using UiPath AI Center object detection, which we have trained, okay? And it's going to store all these images within this particular folder. Now you can see the first image is here. 
So first image is labeled where it is accurately predicted that with an accuracy of 100%, it is a motorbike. And you can see the label is what right what we have given, right? So this is how it is, it is labeled already. So the first image has already been uh, verified. Second image, you can see it is giving image in a specific resolution. That's what we have to do. Because earlier you can see the resolution is matching and that's what it automatically does. So it's better that while you give input, you give it a specific format. So this is also motorbike with 1% of accuracy. Also you can see it has identified this blurred truck with 0.50%, I mean 50% of accuracy. A car which is pretty much blurred, I can guess, that it also has verified, it's amazing. Let's look at this one. So this is also verified as a motorbike and uh, this is verified as a boat. Oh my God. So this is what is pre-tested uh, pre and you can say pre-trained uh, Coco data set. So, I mean, unbelievable, right? So this has also identified as motorbike. Now let's look at this one. So it has identified this car accurately, 100% car, 100% motorbike. So this is working pretty smooth for now. And now let's look at this. So it has identified this as car, this as motorbike, motorbike and car. So this is working fine. Look at this one. It has identified this as car with 98% of accuracy because a little bit of part of the car is missing. This, it has identified as motorbike, this particular bike with accuracy of 100% and person sitting on top of this bike, it has identified with 38%. So workflow is already done, verifying all the images. And now let's go ahead and go back to our output folder and let's verify. So this is also, it has identified it as car with 100% accuracy. It has identified this one also as a car with 100% accuracy. And this is pretty much amazing. So this is how you should, I mean, this is how you can train object detection model in AI center and you can utilize it within your workflow. However, you know a couple of constraints that minimum 100 plus images have to be there of each label, size you have to maintain and format of each image has to, each image has to be JPG. So that's all uh, for this today's session. I hope you have loved this session and this video, and I hope you will download this and you will definitely go ahead and train a couple of uh, you know labels. And now you are ready to go ahead and rate, I mean, label your own images. You just have to make sure that you have to collect a huge amount of images of data. That's all you need to do. And then label those images, create a center model of object detection and have fun. So that's all from my side today. Uh, I really love this uh, session. I really love this video because it's one of my most favorite topics, including Python and all this stuff. So that's amazing. Uh, after a long time, see you again and keep subscribing, uh, share my video with all of your friends and uh, keep following me on LinkedIn also for more detailed post updates. You can follow me on LinkedIn right from here. You can follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter for more updates where I keep on posting a lot of information which is useful. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you love this video and have a great weekend. Happy automation.